All the tools used in this and all of our videos are available at the Bow Tuning Tips online store. Be sure to check them out at bowtuningtips.com. So today what we're going to do is I had a couple of questions people asking me about this thing right here you see going around my wrist. Uh, and what, what the heck am I doing with it on there? And why does it match my bow strings? Well, it matches my bow strings because I'm cool. That's right. If uh, your bow sling is what this is called, it's called a bow sling. If your bow sling don't match your bow string, <laughs> you don't know a thing. <laughs> Seriously, I don't know. It just matches it because I'm like that. But anyway, it doesn't have to match. You get camouflage or black or whatever. But what it's there for is actually kind of like a, a handy thing to have. It's not just about the bling factor. It has the bling potential, as you can see. But what we're doing is, is, is everybody shoots them. A lot of guys shoot them. I mean, I don't, I don't know hardly anybody who don't. I don't think I can think of one guy right now on top of my head that I've seen in the last five years that does not have a bow sling on his bow. And uh, anyway, what it's there for is just basically there to give you that security. If you, you t we talk about grips and how to shoot your bow. And you want to have your hand open. Well, that's what this is there for. I've gotten to the point now, I've shot one of these so long, if I don't have my hand in there when I'm holding my bow, man, that feels weird right there. That feels like putting your left shoe on your right foot. I mean, that's exactly how it feels. I have to have it there. It's just my extra security. Plus, you know, it, it, it's, it just, it's just like a, having an extra hand. Basically, you are not holding the bow anymore. The bow's, bow is holding you. And the way you want to set it up is you can see this thing's loose on my hand right now. And that's how it should be. You put your bow hand up, you hold it, and you don't have to draw your bow. I'm not going to draw this back. But you pull it up like that and you hold it, and you can see that it's flopping around. Now, the reason you want it loose is, is because you don't want anything that's going to be pulling down and causes your hand to deform, which is going to cause you to torque your bow. And either, you know, downwards, sideways, or something like that, it's going to cause you to torque. So you just want it kind of hanging on there loose. Now, another, another way they're attached to the bow is right here where the stabilizer goes. I don't have a stabilizer, but I don't ever use a stabilizer on there. I don't know why. I never have. I just don't use one. Um, that's just the way it is. I put a, the regular but, uh, button screw that goes right here. I'm trying to think of the name of it off the top of my head. It's the burger button bolt. It's a 5 16 button head Allen, rent, Allen screw that goes right there. I put a washer on it, make sure that it's tight, snug it down against this. This is one of those braided ones. You guys have seen those out there. There's a lot of guys making these on the internet nowadays. You can get custom made ones, you know, uh, all different sorts of colors. I think it's a pretty great tool as far as an accessory goes. It's a great accessory to have. You know, it, it keeps your bow in your hand securely. And, you know, it, to me, it gives me the confidence. I've got to grab a bow real quick and show you another one here. This is my, this is my wife's bow. She likes these loud colored bows. She's into the pink, which is nothing wrong with pink. As you can see, she's got a custom sling on there. We had this one made. Now, she shoots a stabilizer on there. She's got a little limb saver. Dude there, I don't know what you call it. It's a little S-coil, I think, but it's part of it. It's not the whole S-coil. And uh, I can't put this one on right because, well, yeah, it's not too bad. This bow's got a small riser, you can tell. A little small, skinny, kind of like competition riser. It bolts right on there like that. This is one of those custom jobs. We had, uh, oh, man, I forget. Right off the top of my head, one of my customers, um, he made that for me. And, well, actually, I had him make it for her. And... Uh, Anyway, that's what it is. You know, every, every one of my bows have them on there. And uh, let's see, I got another one over here. Grab it real quick. Nothing I like more, guys. There's nothing I like more than shooting bows other than showing my bows off. I got this old guy here. Probably, probably remembers this from the TV show. And uh, I laid him down with it. <laughs> Quiet as a mouse. It's that Dead Zone 36. Yep, it's a good bow. They've, they've still got them out there, I think, the 36s. But it's got one there. It's got a red, white, and blue one there because I'm a patriotic kind of guy. Same thing, you can tell. This one fits me a little bit looser. But uh, since I've been shooting this, the last time I shot this bow, I was fat. So I lost a lot of weight. My hand's probably smaller and my wrist is skinnier. That's probably why I, that it's like that. And on my Z7, I got a red one. My Z7 is not down here right now. Well, there you have it.
that's what that little doohickey is right there you see around my wrist. It's the bow sling. And you know what I think I'm going to start calling it? The bow bling. The bling sling. I'm going to come up with my own name of it, and the whole world is going to call it that. Yeah. I'll be like, probably no richer than I am now. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm just goofing around. Really, that's what it's there for. It's to give you that extra security, guys. I showed you how to set it up. I told you what it's there for. And yes, you can make them bling your bow out that much more. Go around the internet. Go to eBay and stuff. You can get them. They're custom like that. Well, I hope that tip helps you out. Until next time, you guys be sure to stay tuned. Thank you.